We still have like two to go, I want to say. But we're getting done. All right, are my throwing knives equipped? Yes, they are. <laughs> I'm so bleh, fucking tired of this shit, bleh. Got to put out all the light sources. Eventually, they're, they'll, they'll be just chilling, which maybe they are right now. All right, well, I don't want to risk that. I was, like, going to head over there and turn out that light, but it's, like, too in the middle, out in the open. For me to feel comfortable enough doing that. I think there's... I was going to say, I think there's a guy right here. I didn't know he was going to be right there. But that does make shit easier. And there's two in here. So what we're going to do... Take care of both of them real easy. So it's three down. One's up top, like, kind of roaming around. Where's your gun at, pal? Maybe he doesn't give you one if he's, like, sleeping or whatever. Anyway, you can see the helmet's all glowy. It's like, hey, this is a special item. Here's our next... Well, actually, our... Whoop, I did not want to do that. Our final equipment upgrade. The helmet. Well, final one in the Volga. Not, like, entirely. Ooh, and I got an autosave. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Anything on the table? Nope. All right, let's put out this light. Everyone's going to bed. Lights are going out. All right. Oh, there's the one up top. I think I can get him with a... Yeah. <laughs> you know I can get him with a whatever, Takar shot ball. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Takar round. And is that it? Just four then? I mean, that sounds possibly right. Oh, shit. Where is this? Oh, God. Okay, yeah. The last one gives up if you take out all the rest. Where's the last one? I'll knock you out. I'll knock you the fuck out. All right, let's uh. Just gonna explore these containers over here. Grab all the goodies inside. Lots of chemicals. Auto save. Nice. Okay, cool. Good. I kind of like that that they like give up after a certain. I don't know, amount of enemies are taken out. It's cool. Maybe he's in like, I don't know if he's in one of these side houses or if he's in the ruins or maybe he's up top. He might be up top. Whoa, there's a guy. This They were having target practice on this dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go out this way. Alright, well, that was pretty smooth. That was on my first try as well, so that's good. I like that. Uh, there's a container over here, but... My goodness, RTM. Here, how do you... This is how I got up. I went over here. I'll see if that bandit's up top. I don't know. Either way, as long as I don't, like, kill him, I guess. So there were six of them, too. I think that was six, right? Does that sound about right? Six? <laughs> that was the fourth one that we took out right there. That just looted. That zip line will take you all the way down there back towards that thing. We do not want to do that. We are going to, I believe, hit up that house, though, those ruins for the other diary page. 
So instead, let's go across here. Oh, yeah, he's up top. See? There he is. I'm not going to try and jump across. I jump across there, knock him out. Whoa! <laughs> Just knock him out. I'm not going to go for that. I will knock his ass out, though. Save my morality points. I think you lose them, like I said. I'm not entirely sure, though. Ooh, look at that upgrade. Grab this incandescent mushroom. So that'll take you right back down there. That's a zip line that we like kind of parked at in front of. We want to hit up this zip line. Um, there's that container though. Like, I don't know. There's that container with some items in it. You could probably drop down and get two from here. Oh, geez. Ooh, ouch. Oh, I did not mean to do that. See that container right there. Ow. Ow. And get back up there. Oh, that was dumb. All right. Just get me up here. Jeez. I was going to say, what, you won't pull yourself up over this? All right, here we go. This is what we want. Like a wicked zipper being unzipped. Zip line. It's going to take us over here. Loot that body. Nothing else around, I guess. Oh, wait, there was a gun. There was a gun! Oh, it's on the... It's on the log. Whatever, we're just going to be fighting creatures anyway over here. Um, Got a little bit of, like, a settlement to... Explore. Get them before they start spitting at me. Ruthless. There's the boat we're going to use to row. Okay, well. This is not a whole lot. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> just blew his face off. Yeah, you just got to get right up on those dudes. You can just tear them apart. Is there another one? Another one wants a piece? No? Usually they're in, like, pairs, I feel. Whatever, though. I think that's it for this little ruins section. Oh, there they are. Okay. And sometimes they like to be a little bit further out in the water. I need to make the waterway clear. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, it's not another one. That's like an ice patch. Oh, wait, there is another one. I heard him. No idea where it's at, though. No idea where it's at. All right, whatever. There's the bandit camp tower over there. We need to do like a hard left. Hard left. Oh shit, there it is. Dodge it. Yes, dodge. There's where these two those two guys were talking. That's where we got the uh that one equipment upgrade, the battery charge controller. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. Forgot about this little, there's like a rooftop over here that you can row to with some goodies on it. It's got goodies. It's not all worthless. It's, it looks, I don't know, it's got a little bit of, oh geez, I don't know if this is a good spot to get out at. Ugh. I guess it worked. Bunch of throwing knives on it. No idea what was going, going on over here. Oh, ouch. Shit. All right, well, I guess I can take care of this fucker now. That's a. I feel like that was a really big one. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> it's a big one. Let me see how many first aid kits I have. A zero. See, that's not good. Fuck it. I'll just make two. Come this far in the video, I don't want anything to get all 
ruined, I might as well. I guess it's it. Just a bunch of throwing knives then. My bad. I thought there was a bit more here. Doesn't seem to... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. This... Oh, no. I thought it was going to fall in. It's still like solid ground there, though. Yep, so that's the island, or the, yeah, well, the island house, whatever, right over here, ruins. And then we'll row from here back to the uh, little bandit ruins area that we, we just went through. And then head back to the trolley and take the carriage back to the train. Back to the Aurora. Yeah, we might as well get the dialogue out of the way there, too. It goes pretty quick. So that way we can just start off next episode, like, getting right to the, the story. I mean, these have been some long-ass episodes lately, but this is a big game, so... At least maybe early on the episodes will be a bit longer. Maybe they'll be slightly shorter. Later on. Uh-oh. Getting a little bit of radioactivity. I think he might start coughing, too. He might have to put on a gas mask. Oh, God. He's getting woozy. Everything's, like, woozy in here. Look at this. It's weird. Hold on, so here all the way at the end. There is a... Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, won't let me play it. Let's get the diary. The diary is interesting. It's weird. There's like no radioactivity and I'm not like choking. Why won't you let me play it? Well, anyway, let's read the, uh, oh, yes. Let's go ahead and read that diary. The patient ledger. February 4th, 12 patients, 8 acute radiation syndrome, stage 3. Prognosis in all cases is poor. All I have left is 32 flasks of whatever. I couldn't do a thing. At least ha I have the tramadol for the worst cases. Five new patients, no new patients. Everyone is here. Seven lethal, three. I don't know what all this is like saying. Earth, earth hard as rock. I just put them all in the shed <laughs> out of ampicillin. So I just give them saline. They say they feel better. So I guess, I don't know, was he trying to figure out how to cure the radiation or whatever? They all know everything now, but they still keep thanking me. Only two tramadols left. I'll put them both into Varya's drip. She's at whatever and suffering longer than anyone, and, but she never complains. I can't handle it anymore. Just three of us left. We keep talking, uh, or we kept talking all night. Helps to distract ourselves. The sores ache like hell. I don't know how could uh, Varia endure it. In any case, it's not going to take long now. Today I was the only one to wake up. I did all I could. It is time. I don't know what the hell is. Oh, there's like, he hang himself. I guess. He was the last one to wake up. Wow, I'm getting really woozy here. Jeez. This is some wacky radiation going on in this area. I'm hearing noises. Oh, man, that's creepy. Oh, there's, like, people here. There's ghosts. I'm running out of air. All right, let's get on the roof. I don't know if you can, actually. Oh, come on. I feel like I should be able to, though. Let's go out this side. This exit. Oh, God. Spooky. There's ghosts and shit. All right. I can take off my gas mask now, I guess. I thought there was, I thought there was a way to get up there. You see the guy hanging right there? But yeah, maybe not. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's get out of here. That's all the diaries. We have one postcard, but we're going to get that at the end of the chapter. Like, it's all, like, main story, you know, kind of stuff as we're, like, leaving, I guess you could say. So it's all kind of scripted. Oh, maybe we won't do the NPC stuff. I don't know. This is a really long episode. I didn't think it would be this long. Like, luckily, we didn't even have the intro, like, diary entry or whatever, because I did that. It's the same thing as the last episode, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. That'll save some time. 
Then when we get back to the Aurora, we're gonna have a new diary entry. A lot of side stuff this episode. A lot of side stuff lately, actually. That's what it seems. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. It seems to be the best way. I think I figured out how to do the episodes, you know? Like, so that's kind of what I'm going off of. All right, I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should not have healed right there, but I don't want to take any chances, so whatever. I am just going to heal. It is 724 in the morning, apparently, uh, according to my watch. I wish I had 7 minutes and 24 seconds of air in my filter. I only have like 11 seconds left. But whatever, dude. Alright, let's go ahead and just head back to the Aurora. Just straight there. We're done. We, uh... Yeah, let's look at the map really quick. We did everything. We got those two bandit. Well, we got the mutant... Or the critter den. The bandit camp. We got the two diaries. Yeah, that's it. Alright, cool. Everything's cleared. Got the equipment upgrade. We got... Well, actually, that's it. Yeah, just one equipment upgrade. All right. Turn this shit on and go. I had a busy-ass weekend. I went to Hash Bash in Ann Arbor. Well, I went out to Ann Arbor Friday and got a hotel room with my friend. No, we got trashed. Me and him and his uh, girlfriend all got wasted in the hotel room the night before. And then we went to Ann Arbor for Hash Bash. Kind of early in the morning. Another critter den. I'm just gonna blow through all this. Fuck this. Oh, I just we just ran over one. <laughs> the thud. <laughs> but uh yeah, the next day, and then I had a diaper party to go to. Like, you know, it's like a dude's version of a diaper shower or diaper or yeah, baby shower. Diaper shower. Dude's version of a baby shower. Like the, the guys all bring like a case of diapers and the guy hosting it buys a, a keg of beer and you drink. We played poker. I was the third person out out of seven. I got pushed out. The blinds picked up really quick. It was good, though. It needed to happen. My roommate ended up winning. And he won last year. Or not last year. Like two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. The last one they had. So he's two for two at our friend's uh, diaper party poker tournaments. Yeah, get out of the way, guys. Come on. Yeah, our old home is here. Oh, that's amazing. I knew you had great potential, even back then at the Jammer. Ah, oh, isn't she a beauty? Oh, you can see she's been properly cared for all this time. <laughs> so unlike my poor old girl. I wonder how fast it can go on a straight line, huh? We'll have to ask Crest about that. Though, with all the destruction, is there anything such as a straight line anymore? But this Crest, huh, is really a risk taker, taking this tiny thing on such a journey. Risk taker Cress. Uncle Tom, will you find my teddy? Well, you know what, little little girl, I already did. Teddy? Look at that. Teddy, are you really bad? You're my hero, Teddy. You're my hero, Teddy. Mom, Teddy's back. Woo! What do you have to say? <laughs> oh, thank you, Uncle Tom. Thank you so much. Artyom, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Yeah, yeah, you always have thank some you, shit Artyom. to talk about. God. I don't even know how to thank you. Spasiba. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am I the man. Debt. Come on, don't I have a guitar to give him? Was it him or was it... Who was the guy would I give the guitar to? Can't remember. Maybe we might have to wait till after this, cause like half the half the crew are like gone. See, like no one's here. Everyone's kind of moving up on the tracks. Oh, here's one. Who's this? Oh, it's Demir. That's all you got to say. All right. He has something to say after we talk to Miller. Let's go ahead and talk to Miller and get that fucking over with. Well, come on. The old man's waiting. Yeah, I know. 
Crust is not here. Crust must be with the group then. All right. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. Is that all we can do? I Just pray to God it works you out? Any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Yeah, look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Uh, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, uh, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Good luck, Artyom. Yeah. Thanks, Colonel Miller. Good luck. Welcome Woo. back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make this episode two episodes. Or this recording two episodes. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tihar ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. Ooh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's uh let's see what's going on with my equipment situation. I'm pretty sure I need to repair like everything. And I do oh, I have 141 chemicals. Ah, eh, okay. Alright, well let's start with my gear. So reinforced helmet. So yeah, you'll have more defense. I'm thinking of getting that instead of the extended filter, because I don't I don't really have a whole lot of air filters to begin with, so I never really seem to need it. Um, same like same with the ammo situation, so I'm going to go with the ro throwing weapons harness. And yeah, I'm going to keep the metal detector since I basically explored the entirety of the Volga. Yeah, this bad boy needs to be cleaned bad. Jeez. Alright, um, nothing new on it then, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see, clean you up. You have nothing new. And then the Tihar, clean you up. And let's check out your new... Oh, 27 steel balls and nine... So it just lets it hold more ammo, so I'm, I'm good. Since it's my stealth weapon, you know, I want to keep it whatever. Uh, I should probably do... Craft some of that. There we go. Destroy some of this. I'll build 30 rounds. I'll get... Yeah, give me... F only four? Only give me four? Jeez. Break down some of these. I don't need to make anything else. Get rid of one of these cans. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm maxed on that. I can only hold 24. <laughs> okay, that's why I made 24. All right, well, whatever. This is fine. I'll just roll with this then. I didn't realize that. I would not have made shotgun rounds. Yeah, I'm good on your uh, upgrade, Tokarav. You just have a nice day, all right, bud? Yeah. Artyom, <sighs> Damn it, I was trying to get out here before you. He... Oh, okay. So nothing important. Cool. So, are you ready for that final push? I am. Here's okay, Good now luck. you can give him the guitar. And thanks again. Well, hey, you know what, Stefan? I was thinking, I heard oh, you like guitars. Where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just God damn, this mind. is cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's gonna play for them. Doom de doom de doom doom de doom de doom. Play Freebird. Oh, he just sets it down. He's just gonna set it down after I. He's like, hmm, I'm so happy and fat. He's like the fat. Hus I guess he's more husky. And I guess he's gonna just go back to. <laughs> Standing guard. All right, let's see. Anything to We're say? Worried here. Anna worried the most, of course. But I told her that the colonel only sends you on the most important missions. 
Because he trusts you that much. True that. I'm his number one operative. Yeah, I don't think you can get in the the uh, carriage right now. And we'll go ahead and talk to Demir too, because he points you towards a boat and directions uh, to the next on, area. Uh, then we'll end the episode. The to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. Or you could just take a zip line from the bandit tower. Nah, I'm good. Those bandits are back, well, so I don't want to do that. Break a leg. Good luck to you. In the port and on the bridge, too. I might just take the boat. And then he walks over there. Alright, cool. So, yeah, that's gonna... With all that being said and done, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Where's the... Maybe I should get to a safe house first. Yeah, let's go to that safe house over here. In the, uh... What is it? The turned over... Oh, jeez. In the turned over Our carriages. Top, we are in position. Awaiting orders. Oh, it's not that one. Where's the safe house at? A little further up. All right, because it's going to put us near the boat that Demir pointed out. Yeah, there it is. So you pointed out the boat and just... Ah, the stupid compass, like, circle thing is, like... I don't know, covering it up. But anyway, yeah, we'll rest in here and call it an episode. Woo! Man, this is good. Call it two episodes, actually. I'm going to end up making two episodes out of this. So, yeah, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, you know, if you find this kind of stuff really extra helpful to you. <laughs> um, my name is Brian, and now we're going to, we're basically getting out of the Volga in the next couple episodes, and we're going to head to some new territories and mix things up a bit, so that's exciting. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.